That was not a problem with taking so, it off. So, any, any advice? Uh, like, fucking clean your fucking, like, whatever is leaking. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. Beautiful day here in Cali. Look at that sky. Feel sorry for anybody else who lives anywhere else. But anyways, uh, got Sergio here, here and uh, Edgar trying to install some wiper blades. You got somebody. Oh, right, pull it yeah. up and down. Make sure it's not going to come off on the freeway. Oh, it's not gonna... oh shit. I'm too strong, bro. I'm too strong. <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, the truck has got a bunch of junk on it. But uh, this is the junk we care about. Uh, we got two new uh engine mounts so uh i guess i'll start from the beginning uh the truck is the truck has been running a little bit rougher than usual and uh, i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it but basically what happened is that let me let this thing focus a little bit okay there you go that uh steering pulley from the steering pump it was eating away that uh line that goes into the uh, steering box because the engine moved about an inch, two inches forward, and it was uh, rubbing against it. And what happened to the fan started rubbing against the shroud because the whole engine uh, moved either sideways or forward. And uh, turns out it's the engine mount. Uh, we thought it was a transmission mount since we had done the transmission not so long ago. And uh, we ran the original mount that came on that junkyard transmission right here. So we figured it was this, but uh turns out we changed it already. It wasn't it. So we got a uh, <clears throat> engine mount. And uh they're the same part, just different brand. This is what they had on the back. This was the older one, newer one, but it should work. They're the same exact part. So uh they're gonna test their wiper blades here. I don't know why we're doing this, but there you go. I got him. See, when you go to Riley's, they're supposed to do that, but uh, the guests, not, not anymore. So we got to do it ourselves now. No? Yeah, the Riley's mm -hmm. workers, they, uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, just... yeah. You guys work on cars, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, just making sure, bro. I, but uh, yeah. I heard the policy of Riley's is supposed to do that for you. Yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, set a starting job. Well, you know, like sometimes you expect car guys to do their own cars, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> uh, all right, so I guess uh, we're going to clean all this trash, all of us. Uh, and I'm then gonna... we're. Why all of us? That's what you trying to What the hell? But I guess so. Yeah, and then uh, we'd, uh, we're basically going to lift the engine with the hoist a little bit. Uh, so remove the tires and try to get to those engine mounts. Uh, but, you know, one step at a time. All right, so here it is. That's the engine mount. And uh, as somebody mentioned uh, another video I was watching. Uh, this is a very poor design because of the way the like um, the glue comes out of here. It's not enough glue to kind of hold down the uh, the uh, rubber in here. For I mean, obviously within years this is probably wearing out, and then it starts kind of like has play in there and so on. But it's probably gonna last a while. So that starts happening here's the other one this one claims is made in china so um we'll see how that goes <laughs> uh got all the tools got the cherry picker here um you can obviously kind of get creative and use something else uh 
we have this so we're just using this for our own sake uh we're also going to remove the hood uh you asked why uh just because it's so convenient there's just two bolts one on each side that holds the hood really easy to install so we'll just remove it get some more light in there and more space uh, we're gonna pull a tire and then just kind of work our way through the uh uh all the stuff um next to the mounts and so on and try to remove them um so we're just gonna set up and then get back to you guys <laughs> so obviously when you're doing this you want to find the safest point to uh attach your uh, hoist from uh, we're just gonna go through the compressor because why not uh this thing can't get rougher um uh, all you technicians out there that are looking at us sorry <laughs> They could at least done something so we can fucking be able to do this shit with it. Oh, there probably is something. We just don't know where it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, actually, I forgot to mention one other thing. Besides uh, the engine rubbing in front, it was also rubbing on the steering uh, the uh, steering rack there. Uh, it's been rubbing against the exhaust this whole time. Uh, the steering was really hard to turn. But we just thought it was the, uh, the steering box because we never bother to look under the hood but it turns out all that scraping is because it's been rubbing against the exhaust but um yeah <laughs> so we're just setting up guys and uh turns out like we we lifted the engine is so much play go for it surgeon <laughs> it just keeps going up Obviously, there, there is some, like, um, space there that normally has. But, look, there's so much more clearance on that rack now. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, we're going to fix that. Go for it, sorry. Just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get started. I know there is a uh, bottom bolt. Getting under here is kind of a pain. But you can see right there that, uh, that nut right there. We need to remove that one that's the other side over there um that whole one comes out and then we can lift the engine even more and then get to the ones that are attached to the block itself so we're gonna do this side first because it's the hardest one and then we enjoy the easy side at the end because it's the easier side <laughs> so what we're doing right now under the hood is basically the uh, mount is sitting something like this i can't remember if it's like this or like this but uh, anyways it's sitting in a way like this and what we're doing is removing the big bolt that goes through this the frame mount and exits through this side so the socket on this side which would be on the back side uh seems to be for us a 17 sorry 18 apologize 18 and the other side is a 16 edgar has right there so 16 and 18 and uh, you just gotta remove those so uh just let the engine down uh no weight on uh let the weight down remove them from both sides and then we can lift the engine we're probably gonna do one side at a time but uh just kind of wanted to give you guys an insight of what's going on because it's kind of hard to get a good angle down there so there you see we got 18 on this side and then the 16 is on the other side and uh we just gotta get this one now here i'll give edgar the phone so he can show you guys a good angle mm -hmm. see so there you go. That's the fucking bolt right there. It's probably gonna be a pain on the ass getting it out. But... Yeah. It's not really like a. What was the last time you did the shocks on this thing, sir? In the front? 1996. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I got all my fucking mess of tools, which I'll organize later because I'm a person that's supposed to organize. Writing, typing messages. Come on, you don't you forgot? Got it, I got it. Oh, cool. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys Edgar's car for right now and all Fidel's trash that he has on my yeah, truck. So, yeah, guys, this is a 2015 Mustang 5.0. It has this cool wing, you know, nice tires, nice rims, which I really like. Uh, he has a nice Hurst shifter in there. Uh, yeah, it's a nice. Nice, 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 nice looking uh, pony. Uh, when he bought it, he had the whole Cobra kit on it and it's 
It looks nice. I like it. Kind of stands out and everything. Uh, so yeah, he mentioned it that he was gonna do a burnout some 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 time of this day. Look. What happened? Look at the way the mount is moving. You see? It's still tight. Like it just has hella play. God, God damn. Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> it just goes up and down. <laughs> oh shit, bro. Yeah. They're fucked. Yeah, that mount like moves up and down. Oh, I can tell, dude. Damn. Look, look at that freaking the steering wheel. Yeah, this rack. Yeah, that shit is fucked. Alright guys, I'll let you guys get to it. Oh. But yeah, this is our working area most of the time. It's nice and sunny. Yeah, we, we could use a beer. We should go check oh, if uh, Malice is open later, guys. I know, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Alright guys, I'm gonna let these guys work. Alright, so... Uh, fuck you, Fidel. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Why are, you Why are you removing the battery, Sergeant? Because we're supposed to fucking do it because of the starter. And first of all, I just fucking shocked myself, bro. <laughs> just touched the starter, bro. Fuck, I just touched a fucking starter in a fucking bolt. <laughs> so you shocked yourself? Yeah. Fuck. You had 12 bolts going through your, through your body. That's not too much, bro. Oh shit! <laughs> Hopefully I can fucking. All right, if you can feel Sergio's pain, uh, leave a comment down below if that's happened to you Fuck before. You, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is the bolt we were talking about. This is what I've been trying to remove. Uh, and uh, we realized that uh, it is a 17 on this side, but uh, it's kind of like stripped here. So uh, 17, 18, whatever works for you. Uh, well. There's the hood right there. They're doing that. So I'm just going to spray a little bit here. Get this thing kind of back to what it was. Got to put the mechanic. <laughs> All right. You guys ever need your car painted? Hit me up, <laughs> homeboy surgeon. <laughs> That's how the cutlass ended up green. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we lifted this thing up. Uh, it's a lot of space now. <sighs> the trick now is getting that mount off the uh, the block itself. So I think there's like two bolts, one up here one down there and those two come out and then this whole thing just kind of falls off so yep <laughs> all right guys up on further inspection turns out that the engine mount Sergio had didn't have any rubber on it any longer at least on on the top side or actually yeah it just didn't have the rubber anymore uh which explains why if it dropped so much uh <clears throat> because they didn't have anything holding it. Anyways, uh, next is gonna be removing these three bolts. Just one, two, and three. These are attached to the block like this. So you just kinda gotta crawl under there and get those three. One, two, and then the bottom one, three. Those three holes right there. I believe, we're thinking it's like a 15 or something. But yeah, those guys come out that are into the block and then uh, we should be able to put the new mount in. All right, we're rolling. Okay. Yeah, so there's like a little plate, like Sergio mentioned, uh, sort of put protecting the rubber on this mount from the burning. It didn't do a good job because our fucking rubber was gone. <laughs> <clears throat> The one is the one on the bottom. Of the bitch. You know what? Oh shit! The so, bolt. Where's the bolt? This is what I was talking about when I said that pulley was eating the line. You can see it right there. How it's all like destroyed. I mean, the bolt, the and uh, I don't know how it didn't pop, but it's still going there. Still holds the fluid in. <laughs> you got it, with? 
<laughs> one side, look, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. We still need one more side. Oh, the bottom one, I can, we can take it off from here. Yeah. But I need, I, I lost all the bolts. Wait, which bottom one? What do you mean, dude? Cause that one's for the frame. You don't gotta pull that one. No, I lost all the car. Do you know how there's three bolts on the bracket? There's, we took the top, top ones, but we need the bottom one. Cause yeah, this is, this is where the rubber used to go like this in the middle. The other piece still on the engine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, well, I, I thought we were removing that. What are I oh, thought try pulling it. Did. We need one more. No, there is one there. more. We're like, we took these two. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I thought you guys were already done. No, no, no. Dude, that, that one is the hard one. So, yeah, look at this, guys. The rubber no, just fell you? off. Just, and uh, the engine has just kind of been leaning sideways because there's no rubber holding it. <clears throat> you see? That part was gone. I can't find it, dude. Gone or either on top, being held by the other side. But uh, it's not together. That's what's fucked up. This is it was supposed to be glued right here. So it's just terrible design from GM for these uh, mounts. All right, so, here, so I guess we were right uh, for the old one. Uh, the rubber was missing, so you can see the. The plate kind of bended a little bit and it, it was also scraping i'm guessing on the frame or something but this how it's supposed to be but there was no rubber in between so the engine was just leaning this way and that's why everything was rubbing on the front and uh that's <laughs> this is rubber that tends to just kind of fail but yep s10 blazers all that kind of run these so make sure you check them that was not a problem with taking so, it off. So, any, any advice? Uh, like, fucking clean your fucking, like, whatever is leaking. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, the, power steel? the power steel because it was, it was. Uh, it well, was, there's no leak there. I, no leak I, I think it's just the, the typical, it, like, steering box leak from, yeah, from yeah. the seals and I shit. Mean, that's just typical. That shit hasn't been changed since the fucking, since factory. Yeah. So, a uh, new one is going to go in there. And uh, it has a bushing. Yeah, the other one has. Hey, this one has, huh? Yeah, it's yeah. To have something in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So I say, let's put this bitch back and then. Also, you might need to remove the uh, air filter uh, box so you can okay, get access to more stuff. Well, I can see. La torca esta se cayó, güey. Look at that line. It's all eaten. So we look at it as a puto torca, güey. The fuck is here? Got a little lunch break here. Let's get the good stuff. Simon, con todo, con todo. All right, so. Castro. Uh, what? So, the other one on the other side, I can't take it out because it's talking. We'll give it a shot right now. Fuck it. Uh, important thing to point out before you spend all your afternoon trying to fucking remove this thing. The freight mount, the freight mount has to be removed so you can put in the motor mount. Otherwise, that last bolt on the bottom is not gonna go in. It's just not. There's no way around it. Uh, luckily, these fuckers are usually a little bit loose because there's hella grease on there and oil, so you should be fine. It's just it's a pain on the ass, very time consuming. If you can pay somebody to do it, just pay somebody to do it. Don't fucking try to lose your time. Not worth it. <laughs> Especially when we don't have any beer. Not worth it. Uh, so we removed the AC uh, box here. We removed the uh, fan shroud because it was easy. And uh, Sergio says we might need to remove the starter on yep, the other side. We have to. Uh, I got no clear. Yeah, so good luck, everybody. Good luck. Yep, everybody, that's the dark coming, and we're still not done. <laughs> um, yeah, it turns out this side is the harder one, so starter does have to come out, um, and uh, there's very limited space there to literally work with anything. So, uh, yeah, this thing's a pain in the ass. <sighs> I'm going to keep wrenching on this thing. Hopefully, we're done. Um but the odds aren't looking very nice today. It's going to get cold as fuck in a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see. How do you feel, Surgeon? 
fucking irritated me. <laughs> well, hood is on, battery's on, starter's on. Uh, look at all the clearings between the steering rack and the headers. That's a lot. So this thing is back together and we can definitely see the improvement as far as the way the engine sits. It is hella late now. Well, not like crazy late, but it's hella dark. Uh, we're gonna go test drive it. Uh, maybe beat on it a little bit, see if everything like holds together. And yeah, I mean, shit, could be a successful night or could be a fucked up night. <laughs>